Dear students, welcome back to Biomaster channel. In the first episode, we understood the basic terms regarding genetics such as inheritance, variations, alleles, homozygous, heterozygous, dominant, recessive, phenotype, genotype, etc. Today we are going to discuss about Grigor Mendel's hybridization experiments. Before going through this, if anybody has not watched the first part video of this chapter, I strongly recommend to go through that video to understand the basic terms very clearly. Then only you can follow this second part video with a hundred percent satisfaction. Okay? Who was Grigor Mendel? He was a monk in a church in Austria. He was also a teacher and interested in growing and caring various plants in garden. He conducted some hybridization experiments on garden peas that is Pisum sativum for seven years. These experiments gave the foundation to a new branch in biology which is known as genetics. So Mendel is considered as the father of genetics. Okay. You have studied about hybridization techniques in botany. It is the process of crossbreeding between genetically dissimilar parents to produce a hybrid. Its main aim is to bring the desirable characters of two plant varieties into a single plant. For hybridization or cross, Mendel performed four important steps. They are selection, emasculation, pollination, collection and germination. First one, selection. Selection of two pea plants with contrasting characters. Mendel selected Pisum sativum, that is garden peas, having many contrasting characters. I will explain later about that characters. The second step is emasculation. You know that garden pea has bisexual flower. So, there is a chance of self-pollination. To avoid self-pollination, anthers that is male part of one plant should be removed. This removal of anther is known as emasculation. Thus, that plant will have only female part. So, it can be considered as female parent. The second plant will not be emasculated. So, it will have anthers and can considered as male parent. Then third step, pollination. In this, pollen grains from the male parent is collected using a brush and transferred to a female parent. This is called artificial pollination because it is performed artificially by a man. Okay. The fourth step is collection and germination of seeds to produce offspring. As a result of pollination, zygote will be formed, seeds are formed, that seeds are collected and germinated to produce offspring. These offspring would be hybrid plants. These are the four important steps of hybridization techniques. Okay. In this manner, for conducting hybridization experiments, Mendel selected seven pairs of true breeding pea varieties. See the table given in the screen. It shows seven characters selected by Mendel. Each character has two contrasting traits. That is dominant and recessive traits. We have already learned about these terms in the first episode. If anybody has confusion regarding this, watch that episode again. Anyway, let us read the seven characters and their traits. First character stem height of the plant. It has two traits, tall and dwarf. Tall is dominant, dwarf is recessive. Second character, flower color. It has violet flower and white flower. Third character, flower position. It has dominant trait known as axial flower and recessive trait known as terminal flower. What is meant by axial flower? It means that the flowers are growing out of the leaf angle. And a terminal flower means 
the flowers are at the ends of the stem and branches okay the fourth character is pod shape it includes inflated or full and constricted type similarly fifth character pod color there are green pod and yellow pod sixth character is seed shape it includes round seed and wrinkled seed and the seventh character is seed color it includes yellow seed and green seed thus there are seven characters each has two contrasting traits in this table we can see which is dominant trait and which is recessive trait for example in case of stem height tall is dominant and dwarf is recessive in case of flower color violet is dominant white is recessive and so on okay all these characters selected by mendel was true breeding what is meant by true breeding this means the genotypes of these characters are homozygous in condition that is the gene pair carries similar alleles let us take the tall plant as an example if a tall pea plant always produces tall offspring only it means that plant is true breeding because the genotype of tall is homozygous okay now let us discuss about mendel's experiment by observing only the inheritance of a single character he conducted a cross between two pea plants differing in one character pair such a cross is called monohybrid cross i repeat monohybrid cross is a cross between two plants differing in one character pair only for example mendel crossed tall and dwarf pea plants to study the inheritance of one gene what gene the gene of stem height here the character is stem height let us consider the gene of stem height is t it has two alleles such as capital t and small t capital t is dominant allele and it produces the phenotype tall similarly small t is a recessive allele which produces the phenotype dwarf clear mendel crossed homozygous that is true breeding tall pea plant with homozygous dwarf pea plant that is capital t capital t cross small t small t it is represented in the screen we know that in sexual reproduction plants produce haploid gametes they will fuse or fertilize to form zygote and the zygote develops as next generation or offspring homozygous tall plant produces gametes which contain the allele capital t similarly dwarf plant produces the gametes that contain the allele small t when these gametes undergo fertilization it produces the f1 generation that is first filial filial means generation or offspring see that the genotype of the f1 is capital t small t it means heterozygous what is its phenotype yes it's tall because tall is dominant trait all plants produced in f1 was tall no even a single dwarf plant was produced capital t small t is heterozygous tall capital t capital t is homozygous tall both are tall that is phenotypically similar but their genotypes are different because capital t small t is hybrid type that is heterozygous but capital t capital t is true breeding type that is homozygous right then the plants in f1 generation was allowed for self pollination it can be represented as capital t small t cross capital t small t because all plants in f1 are capital t small t here each plant can produce two types of gametes gametes containing capital t and gametes containing small t then what would be the result in the f2 or second generation it can be represented as a checkerboard known as 
പനറ്റ് സ്ക്വയർ സി ദിസ് ഈസ് പനറ്റ് സ്ക്വയർ ഓർ ചെക്കർ ബോർഡ് ഹിയർ ദീസ് ആർ ദി ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് വൺ പ്ലാന്റ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ആർ ദി ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് അതർ പ്ലാന്റ് വെൻ ദീസ് ടു ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ആർ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ടി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ടി സിമിലർലി ദീസ് ടു ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ഫോം ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ടി സ്മോൾ ടി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹെട്രോസൈഗസ് ഇൻ ദ സെയിം മാനർ ദീസ് ടു ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ഓൾസോ ഫ്യൂസ് ടു ഫോം ഹെട്രോസൈഗസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ടി സ്മോൾ ടി ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ടു ഗ്യാമേഴ്സ് ഫോം ദ ജീനോ ടൈപ്പ് സ്മോൾ ടി സ്മോൾ ടി ഓക്കെ ദസ് ദർ ആർ ഫോർ കോമ്പിനേഷൻസ് ആർ പോസിബിൾ നൗ ലെറ്റ് എസ് അനലൈസ് ദി എഫ് ടു റിസൾട്ട് ഹിയർ ഓഫ് ദി ഫോർ കോമ്പിനേഷൻസ് ത്രീ ആർ ടോൾ ഫീനോ ടൈപ്പ് ആൻഡ് വൺ ഈസ് ഡോർ ഫീനോ ടൈപ്പ് so the ratio is 3 is to 1 this is called mono hybrid phenotypic ratio if we say in percentage 75% tall and 25% dwarf or in fraction wise 3 fourth tall and 1 fourth dwarf for example imagine there are 100 plants are produced in f2 100 plants then according to this ratio what will be the approximate number of tall and dwarf can you say the answer yes you are right 75 tall and 25 dwarf but we may not always get such an accurate number some slight changes may be there for example we may get 73 tall and 27 dwarf or 74 tall and 26 dwarf and so on such slight changes can be neglected it's also in 3 to 1 ratio okay now let us analyze the genotypes of the four combinations how many capital t capital t are there only one but capital t small t is 2 in number and small t small t is 1 thus based on the genotype the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 it is called mono hybrid genotypic ratio in percentage we can say that there are 25% capital t capital t 50% capital t small t and 25% small t small t in fraction wise 1/4 capital t capital t that is homozygous tall 2/4 that is 1/2 capital t small t that is heterozygous tall and 1/4 small t small t that is homozygous dwarf now we learned two types of ratios f2 mono hybrid phenotypic ratio it is 3 is to 1 and mono hybrid genotypic ratio it is 1 is to 2 is to 1 clear these are the results of the classical experiments conducted by griger mendel mendel made similar mono hybrid crosses for other characters also in all crosses he got same phenotypic ratios and genotypic ratios that is 3 is to 1 and 1 is 2 is 1 you can see the results of those experiments and their results in the screen based on these experiments mendel concluded that some factors were inherited from parents to offspring these factors are now known as genes okay clear dear students i will give you a detailed explanation about this and mendel's remaining works and results in the next episode Now this episode ends here if you have any doubts and suggestions regarding this video please mention in the comment box thank you have a good day bye